What's up beautiful people, it's your boy George here and this is the Aria Hotel and Casino, one of the premier destinations and one of the most luxurious hotels on the Las Vegas Strip and today we're doing a review, come with me. So we made it to our deluxe king room here at the Aria. This is the cheapest room available for today and the rate was $170 before resort fees and taxes. But we also got a $75 food and beverage credit that you can charge to your room. So that is $170 minus 75 plus resort fees and taxes, which brings the total to $150. Not a bad deal for a room here at the Aria. Now, before we do a quick room tour, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit more about the Aria. So the Aria Hotel and Casino is regarded as being one of the best resorts here in Las Vegas. It's actually a triple A five diamond resort. So as you can imagine, it's one of the better ones. It is part of the city center complex, that being the Cosmopolitan, Vidara, Waldorf Astoria, and the Aria make up the city center complex, built back in 2009 and operated by MGM Resorts. There are over 4,000 rooms here and over 16 restaurants, which makes this place a foodie central with places to eat such as Catch, Carbone, Din Tai Fun, Javier's, Julian Serrano. They unfortunately got rid of their buffet during COVID, but they did reopen it as a food hall called Proper Eats, which we're gonna check out today in this video, but we're probably gonna do a more in-depth review later on. Now, as far as entertainment goes, they don't have a Cirque du Soleil show, although they did at some point, which was the Sarkana, and I heard it was a complete failure, but who knows, I didn't actually get to watch it. They do have a ton of bars here and a nightclub called Jewel and a day club called Liquid during the summer. Now, although they do have a really nice pool and spa, they do have a very lackluster sports book that is connected right next to the pizzeria here. It's called the Money Line. And as you can see here, not the best thing to write home about. There is a tram here that connects the Aria, the Bellagio, and the Park MGM. It's called the Aria Express. It's 100% free to use. The casino floor is one of the best ones here on the strip, in my opinion. It's about 150,000 square feet of live action, really modern machines, and there are a ton of table games. So with all that being said, now let's take a quick look around at this room, which is the most basic room at the Aria Hotel and Casino. All right, so when you walk in, you are gonna see these two giant closets with the drawers. There's just a ton of storage space, a bit unnecessary in my opinion, but it looks nice. So, so here's the restroom. I like this place. It's very well lit up, bunch of tile everywhere and nice lighting. Here's your boy. Look at that. Good presentation, his and hers. What is this granite? And there is something peculiar about this place and I'm gonna point this out. There is a phone here, like one of those old school wired phones. Look at that. This is a bit unsanitary. I don't know if I should even be touching this. Also, sort of unnecessary, right? We all have phones nowadays, but why would you need this here? Moving on to the shower slash bathtub area. So as you can see, a bunch of towel everywhere and you can take a nice bath, hop in and out of the shower, you know, wash all the bubbles away single person so you can't have fun with your significant other or others this is a really cool feature here you can control the shades look like the temperature right now it's at 67 let's let's make it a little bit hotter in here a decent sized tv right now there is one bad thing that there is a mini bar fridge but there is no fridge like regular fridge so don't do the mistake that a lot of people do and take out these things to put your own belongings because you will get charged for those items so be careful on that overall nice bedroom here king size bed nice headlamps and of course we got the safe there we go you guys know my password right we've got our two couches here to lounge around and check out this view Womp womp. Not the greatest. We are on the third floor, but you get to see the rooftop basically of the whole building. So all in all, this is one of the tightest and best rooms that I have ever stayed in because of the technology, the furniture, and just all around how it looks. I really like it. 
Now, keep in mind that the Aria does get a little bit more expensive than this, so don't expect the $150 per room per night. With all that in mind, now let's go check out the casino floor and let's go get some food. All right, so I just sat down here at Proper Eats and it's so cool to see the resemblance of the old buffet. Uh, they kept some of the essence and obviously the infrastructure, but this place is really nice. It's like a cool, nice upscale and fun place. They do have about nine restaurants that I can see. Some of them aren't open. There's only six open at the moment and they also have a nice cool bar on the side. So the way you order here, you can either scan a QR code that's right here and order through your phone and they'll tell you when it's ready to go pick up. Or they also have some kiosks here that you can check and browse through the menu and all that stuff. This kind of reminds me of Famous Foods over at Resorts World, the same kind of ordering system. The food here ranges from Korean food, they also have Japanese, they have ramen, Mediterranean, and I even saw a pizza place, but it's Pizza Aoki, which is Steve Aoki's uh, brand of pizza. All right, so I just got the text messages that the food is ready, so let's go pick it up. Yes, sir. All you, buddy, all you. Very cool. Thank you, man. Okay. What's hey, up, great brother? Great fan, great fan. Uh, I appreciate yeah, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. One, one slice, right? Yes, sir. So I did get one pizza from Pizza Aoki. This was $6 a slice of pizza. It is quite expensive, but if you compare it to strip prices, I guess it's not that terrible. I'm used to seeing like $9 slices of pizza here. And then from another restaurant here, another location, the Soul Bird, uh, I did get some tater tots here, but there's some K-Tots. So I see that they have sour cream, a little bit of like tomato and some kimchi, which is uh, very unique. Okay, so let's get started with this pizza. Nice crunch. It's decent. It tastes very similar to like a Costco pizza. A little bit thin though. All right, so that pizza is decent, but I would probably give it more like a like a seven out of 10. Boy, it's heavy. They also have that, that red sauce there, and I think it's sriracha. All right, I messed with this. Nice flavor composition with the cheese and the tater tots. No, I am a little confused about the kimchi though. It's there, I love kimchi. Just, um, mm, I don't know, I like it. I give it a passing grading. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna be coming back and doing a full, full-on review. Just so you guys are aware that Proper Eats exists and the buffet is no longer. If you don't wanna eat anything, you can just head over to the bar, which uh, I might just do it right now. Now, let's see what else is next. All right, so we made it to the Alibi Cocktail Lounge, which is dead smack in the middle of the whole casino floor. This is an upscale cocktail place, so you, the drinks are gonna be a little bit more expensive. And you can buy bottles for like $500, $600, or you can just get a cocktail like we did. And the first drink that I got is at the Afternoon Delight. This is Grey Goose Vodka. We got some cucumber juice, some lemon, all that stuff. So nice little refreshing drink here. Let's give it a shot. That's not sweet. That's very cucumber-like. Some simple syrup, maybe? All right, this next one I'm actually excited about. Spicy Encounter. And this one has a jalapeno infused on Julio Silver. Lemon juice, watermelon, and some tahini on the rim. Let's give this one a shot. Way better than that one. Still, I thought it was gonna be like a margarita, but it's just like a like watermelon juice and tequila. I don't usually criticize drinks a whole lot. <laughs> but these two weren't that good. I have concluded that these two drinks are not good whatsoever. And there are probably some of the most expensive drinks that you're gonna find on the Las Vegas Strip just for being a cocktail. At least the environment is cool and I get to watch a basketball game, I guess. All right, so now it's time to lose some money. We lost some money at the bar already with those two drinks. Now it's time to lose a hundred buckaroos here at the Wheel of Fortune machine. This, look at that, this is the most exaggerated freaking uh, handle I've ever seen. <laughs> Let's give the roulette a try. Digital roulette. The winning number is 12 red even. All right. Place your We're bets. finally making money here. I moved over to Crafts because uh, this place is a money pit. All right, so I am standing in front of Javier's, which is a Mexican restaurant here. It's one of the most popular Mexican restaurants in all of Las Vegas. But in my opinion, this is one of the most overhyped places. This is really, really expensive food, and the food is good, but not great, and it's definitely not worth the price. The margaritas, though, are excellent, so if you do have a chance to come by, only get the margaritas. Let's, uh, let's lose some money here. How about that? Okay, we finally got something. 
two spins left. I think that's sixteen dollars, sixteen twenty-five. We'll see. That was a, a big buzz for only sixteen dollars. <laughs> so the Aria, similar to the Bellagio Conservatory, decorates their front desk area here. Uh, right in their lobby, they decorate depending on the season or a special event. Right now, of course, they have the Chinese New Year and they have a giant golden dragon uh, flying basically across the whole lobby, which is really cool. They also have a giant rabbit over there by the height limit lounge. It's a really cool place to just come by, walk around and take some photos of the decorations. I know they uh, rotate them depending on the seasonality or a special event that's happening at the moment. All right, so for the next stop, we made it to Din Tai Fung here at the Aria. This is very in theme for the holidays, right? Because it's Chinese New Year, this is a Chinese restaurant, and it is very decorated here. Uh, they basically sell dumplings in various forms and other stuff. I am excited to get one of those dessert dumplings because I've never had them. It's always really busy. It's one of the most popular places. I believe it's from LA, and they got brought here. It's, uh, let's wait for our table right now. Right, got situated here and I got some really good dumplings that are coming out in a second. But I also got this uh, black tea boba milk tea. Mm. And the one from here is actually not that bad. All right, they just dropped off. Oh, look at that, jeez. The, the food runner came and crossed it out and they dropped off the Shaolong Bao. Let's go. <laughs> look at that. Shaolong Bao soup dumplings. They have soup containing inside of these bad boys. Oh, let's look at that. Oh, nice liquidy stuff. Fire. Oh man, these are so delicious. Not as hot as I thought they were gonna be. All right, so my camera just died and I don't remember these being this good, but wow. If you like soup dumplings, like the ones from Nen Tai Fung are ridiculous. Ooh, next up are the vegan dumplings. All right, so no meat on these bad boys. Oh, they're hot. Is it good? Ooh, hot. And they just dropped off the spicy vegan noodles. Look at that. Boom, boom. This thing is fire. The spicy sauce is like vinegary and it has, I believe, Szechuan pepper, which gives you that nice little spice, the Chinese spice. But yeah, the noodles, they're the business. They're legit. And here we have the spicy wonton shrimp. Look at that. Dude, check this out, man. These are so good. These are basically dumplings right here. They have shrimp inside and they have this spicy sauce all along with it. All right, make sure it's nice and wet, a little slippery. Man, this is so gas. I love this place. So you get the nice dumpling taste and you get the shrimp taste. Sorry if I'm like butchering what this is, but it, it is so delicious. Look at that. Look at that soup right there. All right, and last but not least, we got the dessert. This is the mochi chocolate Shaolong Bao. This is my first time ever having these. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yes, sir. They're so good. Look at that. It's almost like dark chocolate-ish, but uh, has a really good taste. I think the mochi kind of balances it out and it makes it more a little bit more milky, but who knows? What am I talking about? All right, so I made it back to the room. Lost someone in the casino floor, paid for some overpriced drinks, and well, that kind of sounds like the average Las Vegas night for you. So there you have it, the Aria Hotel and Casino is a very beautiful property. Everything from the second that you walk into the Aria and down to the room, to the amenities, everything is up to par to be the luxurious property that you are paying for. Now, you are paying a pretty penny for your stay here. The rates can get as high as $500 a night, but I guess it is one of the best ones, so you get what you pay for. Unfortunately, we weren't able to check out the pool because it is a little cold still outside, so I'm definitely gonna be coming back so there you guys have it, a closer look at the Aria Hotel and Casino. Let me know which one of these features you like the most here at the Aria. In my opinion, it's the concentration of all the food options that you have here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a like, drop a comment in the section below, and I'll see you on the next time. Peace out.